Starting as early as the Middle Ages, governments around the world have encouraged the hunting of grey wolves. Seen as a nuisance because they attack humans or prey on livestock, grey wolves are frequently hunted by humans for self-defense or their thick grey furs. In the United States and Mexico, grey wolves have gone locally extinct. Human cause habitat loss for wolves because of the nuisance wolves apparently cause to many farmers and residents. High competition for livestock causes many cases of habitat fragmentation for many wolf packs that claim their territory. As said before, wolves cause a great nuisance to farmers, therefore causing the development of federal control programs in which the government hunts wolves and rid the problems they cause. Central Europe, for example, had organized hunts, thus causing a drastic decrease in wolf population. Wolves' ecological niche are commonly around large ungulates, animals that are hooved such as moose, elk, bison, and deer. In their ecosystem, grey wolves are frequently apex predators, competing with no other animals for prey. With the exception of tigers and humans, wolves have no competition in their chosen ecosystems. Wolves are common across much of America and Europe, before being hunted into extinction by humans, especially in the northern Rockies, the Great Lake area, and the south southwest United States. Wolves travel in nuclear families, meaning they travel in pack with the mating pair and their offspring. The mating pair usually travels with four to seven children on average. Because of this close family, wolves create social bonds and relationships showing deep affection to their offspring, even to a point of sacrificing themselves for another family unit. Their behavior and communication is usually misinterpreted. Wolves howl when it is lighter at night, not necessarily at a full moon. With their howls and whines, the wolves know where each other are, where fresh food can be hunted, and where they need to be summoned by their pack. When they breed, grey wolves give birth to a litter of four to seven blind, defenseless, and adorable pups. These pups are cared for by the pack for ten months. Seven of these months are spent feeding on their mother's milk. During these months, they learn vital skills for their survival by playing and wrestling with their litter mates. Grey wolves help the populations of ungulates that they hunt by culling the sick and weak. By eliminating those members that are crippled or diseased, grey wolves present, prevent the disease from spreading or the crippled from breeding and lowering the overall health of the population. Currently, there are an estimated 250,000 grey wolves in the wild, and much of the world has removed them from the endangered species list. Now they are listed under least concern, the bracket representing the least likely species to go extinct. Wolves used to be endangered, however recently their endangered status was revoked by Congress in the areas of Montana, Idaho, and Washington. Realizing their federal control programs were working towards grey wolf extinction, many countries passed laws that banned their, the hunting of grey wolves and they are currently under protection of the Endangered Species Act in most states but not all. Slowly, grey wolves are being reintroduced back into the wild. After an alarming drop in population levels, several state governments are making efforts to reintroduce grey wolves to their natural habitat. Organizations like the Sierra Club are making efforts to protect wolf habitats and improve state management of grey wolves in the Yellowstone region, educating the public on the true nature of wolves and defending the Endangered Species Act currently under threat by lobbies in favor of limiting government power to defend endangered species.